Just because certain habitat management options can increase natural forage quantity and quality at some points during the year doesn't mean it is the most suitable method for nutritional management year-round. Likewise, supplemental feed might be a consistent high-quality resource for deer, but it might not be necessary during certain times of the year when there is an abundance of other nutritional resources that can be produced at a much lower cost. While maximizing nutrient availability for a deer herd is very important, other considerations should also be made when determining optimal habitat management options. Suitable cover is an important resource for deer, especially to provide protection for fawns from predation. However, habitat management options designed to improve the nutrient quality of habitats, such as prescribed fire, are generally utilized to open the understory and thus eliminate many species that provide adequate cover. Managers should consider designating certain areas where heavy cover is a priority. Hard and soft mast can also provide important food resources for deer, and management options that increase these resources should also be utilized. Retention and management of hard mast producing trees can help provide high energy food sources during the fall when natural forage quality has declined. In regard to food plot management, monthly forage production, costs to establish and maintain food plots, and responses to varying rainfall, soil conditions, and browsing pressure vary by species. Therefore, planting a variety of annual and perennial food plot species throughout the year will help ensure an abundance of high quality forage is available. Herd management is another important consideration and option to increase the availability of nutritional resources. Increasing the quantity of high-quality nutritional resources might have little effect if deer densities are greater than a property can support. Increased doe harvest might be necessary to reduce deer numbers to a sustainable level to prevent overbrowsing and allow more resources to be available for fewer deer. It is also important to remember that the effectiveness of different management options will vary depending on individual regions or locations, but providing a sufficient quantity of nutritional resources should be an integral component of any management plan that aims to maximize deer condition and quality. Many different factors will affect management decisions when deciding the optimal management plan, such as property layout, financial resources, management goals, and deer density. Therefore, each property will require a unique management plan, but an understanding of different management options will help managers make the best decisions on how to produce quality deer next season and for many seasons to come. The information in today's episode of Deer Talk Now is brought to you by the students, staff, and faculty at the Deer Laboratory at Auburn University. Led by Dr. Stephen Ditchkoff and research associate Chad Newbold, the Deer Laboratory at Auburn University is one of the top schools in North America for prospective white-tailed deer biologists and researchers. Each year, Auburn Deer Lab students collaborate on science-based deer research projects that further our education on herd management, forestry management, and deer biology. These insights are published in each issue of Deer and Deer Hunting magazine. To learn more, visit your favorite newsstand outlet or log on to our website.